Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I have another Nintendo Switch related video for you. This is the Power A wireless controller, Nintendo GameCube style. So, if you're looking for a GameCube controller to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, or perhaps just you want the GameCube style controller for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or any other type of uh, Nintendo Switch game, Power A has released a wireless controller that is designed to look and feel like a GameCube controller. So this is super cool. I'm, I'm excited about this. I do have a GameCube controller. Uh, I bought the Smash Brothers one to work with the system, but it is wired, of course. So if you want a good wireless function, um, you have this option. So we're gonna uh, check it out and see how it is. Um, here's the box right here. So the side of the packaging, as with all Nintendo Switch items, kind of shows you little glimpses of the item. And then on the back right here, it shows you all of the included buttons as well. So there is actually at the top a power LED and a sync button. So that's how you can connect it to the system. And um, because this is a Nintendo Switch controller, um, it actually has like the controller player icon. So you know how it lights up letting you know which controller it is. There's even a capture button and a home button, which is very nice because I was playing with the GameCube controller and there was no way to exit out and go to the main menu. So this actually is super helpful. So I do appreciate that. Uh, Bluetooth wireless freedom. It does have motion controls, which is actually really nice because not all of the other uh, Power A controllers have that. However, it does not have HD rumble, IR, or any Amiibo NFC support. Uh, so do keep that in mind. Um, now, this also uses two AA batteries, which it comes with. Um, so that is how it is charged. So let's just do a little unboxing and check out how this controller is. Um, it does come in a, a variety of colors. I found this at my local Target and they only had the purple. Um, the I looked on Amazon, I think they have it in black and gray, I believe. I might be wrong, but it seemed like there were just a couple standard colors. However, at GameStop, uh, it looked like it was a GameStop exclusive, I believe. They have a gold version and a silver version. So if you're looking for a couple different colors, some special colors, check your local GameStop. Um, and you can get some some more fancy ones. I actually don't have a purple GameCube controller. I thought about trying to get the gold or silver ones. My local store was sold out, uh, and I'd have to drive a little bit farther to get the gold or silver. I was like, you know what? Purple's totally fine. My local Target had it, and I don't have a purple controller, so I was like, why not just go with purple? It's a classic GameCube, you know? So, there's your stuff right here, your user manual. I'm not gonna go through it, but if you want to see it, you can pause the video and read the steps yourselves if you need it. Uh, there it is right there. So, um, you got your uh, batteries right here, of course. So let's uh, get this open off camera here, if I can, maybe, possibly. There we go, okay. So, we got our battery set right there. And of course, the controller itself. So. Let's just uh, slide this right out. And here we have the controller. So let me put the batteries in to truly give the feel, you know, of the weight of it. Uh, system update required. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. So before using, verify your switch is at version six or later. So do keep that in mind, I guess, in order to ensure compatibility. All right, so got your batteries in right here. Um, so, First impression is it looks like a GameCube controller. Um, certainly, um, it feels lighter than a GameCube controller, but I, I assume that's a function of the fact that it also doesn't have... Uh, actually, you know what? I take that back. I, maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Um, it actually feels very similar. I think it's because the wire sometimes weighs it down a little, so it gives it a feeling of a bit more weight, but it's actually pretty much the same. They're both very light, actually. Um, so comparison-wise, on the left being an actual GameCube controller, and on the right being these, this third-party one, the control stick um, looks slightly different. It, it feels slightly different. Um, it feels like it's maybe perhaps not as grippy, like from the top. You see how the, the lines are a little bit more defined than on this one, so slightly less of a grip, but I mean, very minor. Um, the D-pad is different. The D-pad is larger. So here's the standard D-pad on the GameCube controller, whereas here it's a longer D-pad. It is still the same, um, let's see, 
maybe slightly mushier of a feel, but it definitely does click though on the sides, which is nice. Um, Whereas actually this doesn't really click as much on the side. So yeah, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I feel like from the center, no, actually, I, it actually is more clicky. I, I, I think it's actually more clicky. Um, the C-Stick feels about the same. Maybe slightly, it's not as rubbery um, from the top. This one has kind of that rubbery feel. Um, let's see, the buttons feel the same. Now, here's where it gets interesting. So you have your um, your shoulder buttons, right? Which on the GameCube were L and R. Uh, on here, they are ZL and ZR. Now, on the GameCube, um, it could sense whether the, uh, like I believe they're analog triggers. I, I don't think this is going to have analog triggers. I believe these are gonna be digital because the Nintendo Switch, does it say? Uh, it doesn't say on the box. Um, but the Nintendo Switch doesn't, like, the games don't really use, um, because the, the Pro Controller is digital, so it's not, uh, I assume this is going to be the same. But what's interesting is the, uh, so, so these are ZL and ZR to match the Nintendo Switch mappings, and instead of a Z button, you have your L and R right up front, again, to match the standard, um, button scheme, but you have them on both sides because on here you just have the one Z on one side So in order to be compatible with other games, it's on both sides right there, um, and it is a bit bigger So that is that's that's kind of nice, but overall I mean the standard feel in my hand Certainly feels the same like it feels like a GameCube controller and that's exactly you know what you would want with this kind of thing So that's certainly nice uh, from the back. You got your you know power a and some standard stuff but uh yeah so there's your sync button and then the rest of it right there so um yeah i mean it feels nice so i think now the true test will be how does it play in a game of super smash brothers ultimate right so that's what i'm going to do i have my nintendo switch right here i'm just booting up super smash brothers ultimate and then we are going to try and connect this controller uh, actually let me go to the controller menu here and see how easy it is to pair this controller. So, um, pairing new controllers. All right, so at any time, let's try and push this the sync button here. Is that how it, how it will pair? I'm holding down the sync button. I probably should have looked at the instructions. <laughs> um, let's just make sure how, how easy this is to, to pair. Um, from, let's see. Oh, do change grip in order. And then while that's doing, then hold down the sync button. Oh, okay, so then it'll auto pair. So I have to be on this screen, the uh, which let me move my little lights away so you can see the Nintendo Switch screen a little bit more easily. So you have to be on this screen right here, then hold down the sync button for at least one second. All right, so I let go. Let's see, do I have to keep holding it or will it find it? No, it found it, that's it, paired. Sweet, so it shows up as just like a standard uh, controller right there. Press A when ready, and that's it. I am now using this controller. Um, let's take a, yep, I took a screenshot, that worked. I go into the game, I can push the, uh, um, oh, the game is booting up, so I think it's loading right there. Um, I'll let it load for a second. Um, all right, I push the home button and I'm back. So there you go. So that's actually really nice. I actually might use this as my main controller. I have been using the Pro Controller for a while. Um, and the reason is I like the GameCube controller, right? Don't get me wrong, GameCube controller is great, but the wireless functionality is, is nice with the Pro Controller. And the Pro Controller felt just as fine, but the fact that this is wireless, I am actually really digging that. Um, so now I get the benefit of having wireless and the, uh, um, the controller being like GameCube style. Now, the only thing is with the lack of HD rumble, I guess NFC support is not too big. Like, I mean, you can use Amiibo in the game, but I can scan it. I don't use it regularly. You know, the biggest thing is, will I, will I notice a difference in playing without the rumble? Cause I do always have rumble on whenever I play the games. I know that when you use the GameCube switch, the adapter for the GameCube controllers, if you only plug in one USB, cause you want to save your other USB ports, then you got to, um, I did random on fighting Luigi and I'm playing as Mario. What, what luck is that? Um, I know you, you can, 
save a USB port by only plugging in one of the two USB uh, connections in the GameCube controller adapter. But um, if you plug in both, you get the rumble functionality. And uh, so that is one thing that you are missing with this, I guess, a little bit. I, I do kind of miss the rumble a little bit, personally, but it's not that big of a deal. Like, I, I can play without it, I should say. You know, it, it's certainly playable. It's, it's not that it's not playable. Oh, Luigi's going to destroy me right now. Come on! Um, yeah, I'm getting destroyed right there. But yeah, I mean, overall, it certainly feels nice. I I like it, actually. I, I think I prefer this to just having a standard GameCube controller because it's wireless. And because you can um, use the home button to exit out. The, the only... You can take screenshots too, which is nice. I wish you could record video, but as of now, they haven't enabled that. Um, but for games that it is compatible with, I do appreciate having those buttons. Like, trust me, it's actually very nice to have these buttons um, when you're playing Nintendo Switch games. So, I like it. I think this is actually really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, that is, that's my, my little unboxing and quick little first look at the Power A wireless controller Nintendo GameCube style. So again, it is available in a variety of colors, especially if you go to GameStop, you get the gold and silver options as well. Uh, but this is the classic purple and it looks nice, feels nice, feels like a GameCube controller. So you can't go wrong with it. You really can't go wrong. I, I definitely would recommend it if you're looking to play not just Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, but to be honest, other games as well. Like, I'm, I kind of want to play this with Mario Kart and stuff too and see, you know, how this feels. Um, I'm, I'm actually very curious to play it with other games. Uh, it, it does have motion controls apparently, so I guess you could probably try it out in Splatoon too as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I like it. So let me know in the comment section below what you think as well, but I definitely recommend this controller, so check it out uh, and enjoy some Super Smash Brothers and other Nintendo Switch games with this wireless GameCube controller. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you later.